In today's video, I'm going to be playing Grand Challenge going all the way from 0 to 12 wins using the best wizard deck in the game. So you guys might have seen this wizard deck at the very top of ladder played by Densito Prox. He actually has a top 10 ladder finish with this deck and not only is this the best wizard deck in the game, it's pretty much the only good wizard deck in the game. So we can talk about the deck a bit in our first match here. So as you can see, the NATO is in the deck, pairs really nicely with the Wizard as well as the Giant Skeleton Bomb when it dies. And what's very interesting or kind of fascinating sort of about the deck and the reason why it works is the fact that it has two tanks in the deck. Like, it's kind of strange that it has the Knight and the Giant Skeleton, but I feel like the reason why that works is so you always have one in rotation. So let's say you're going for a Hog Giant Skeleton push, for example, right? And you want to use that on offense. When you have the knight in the deck, it kind of gives you a tank you can use on the defensive end, like maybe if they want to pressure you in the other lane. So I guess even though it's a little weird, it kind of the idea of it makes sense. And then of course the Skarmie is going to give you a high DPS card that you have inside of the deck because you don't really have one. So the Skarmie is going to give you that. What I mean is, is you don't have one besides the Skarmie. So that's why the Skarmie is there and then if your opponent has the log or something like that or the zap to take out the scar I mean, that's why you have the nato in the deck to pull all that back and buy you time to defend wizard and fireball are going to be really good against the royal hogs as you can see wizard's also really good against the drill and the wizard is actually quite good against the air cards in this game as well especially things like minions and minion horde but even things like lava hound the wizard's really good against because it yields a pretty high amount of dps and since it doesn't die to a fireball, it's going to be, you know, hard for the lava player to take out sometimes without overcommitting. Anyway, it looks like this guy's probably running a three musketeer deck, if I had to guess, because we do see that he's got the hunter, as well as the heal spirit, the ice golem. So definitely looking like three musketeers. It should be a very, very easy first match, because of course the wizard, the fireball, the nato, all going to be very good against the three musketeers. So unless I make a massive mistake, I don't think we're going to have really any issues over here. If he does decide to go first 3M, I could decide to NATO them all um, in the same lane, which is what I'm going to do. Um, we'll just go for a fireball, finish off the three musketeers, and it's going to be nice and easy. We'll go for a skeleton army here on top of these real hogs. This guy's playing very aggressively. I'm surprised he didn't go for 3M in the back to try to build up a push. Um, we're going to go for a hog here. He is going to kite that giant skeleton, but I think it might still stay in the left lane because the... It did go down to the Skeleton Army, and just like that, we did take the lead. It's only a matter of time before we win this one, because like I said, this is going to be just a pretty easy match overall, if I'm being completely honest. We're just going to fireball the two Musketeers, and then if he decides to go Bro Hogs, we might just NATO. We'll see kind of like what he wants to do. Um, he's going to Barbell, so we'll probably just go for a Skarmy here. Should be fine. Let's go for a Knight. And then we're going to want to go for a hog here. And let's get a fireball going on his hunter. Knew who's going to play that. Just take that out immediately. And that should be GG. I think right here it'll even be game because he doesn't have any elixir. Hog gets another shot. NATO coming in. We don't even need the NATO. That's going to be GG. Nice and easy game one over there against three musketeers. Like I said, you're going to have no problem against three musketeers. Probably one of the easiest matchups for this deck. We're against J Big over here. See what our starting hand's looking like. We do have the hog in our starting hand. This is a little different, though, than a hog cycle deck. You don't want to just, like, you know, immediately make the first play. It's fine to wait a little bit. He's going to go bomber, and he's got a mega knight. So, unfortunately, we don't have our tanks in rotation. We are probably going to have to, um... We're going to get a bit of a interesting rotation going here. Um, we'll see how this goes. He's going to freeze that, okay. What I'm going to do is fireball, like, last second. Alright, that was fine. Not going to lie. I, I, don't, I mean, I don't want to say that was, like... I mean, it could have been worse, but I'm not going to lie. That was a super unlucky rotation I had right there. Because had I had my, um... Okay, this guy's just spamming. Wow. I mean, I guess I'm not surprised, considering this guy literally did go bomber at the bridge first play of the game, which is pretty wild. Um, looks like there was, there was a little bit of lag there. I'm not sure why. I gotta fix that. I, I don't know, like, why that's been happening, because when I first had air server, that wasn't happening. But this has been kind of an issue now for the past 
couple weeks for some reason. I, I don't know. Um, or this, like, past week it's been lagging a bit. I don't know if I need to, like, download it and re-download it again. Um, but it's very strange, nonetheless. Let's see what this guy does over here, though. Um, he might... Yeah, he is this guy with his freezes, man. Freeze is, like, one of... Free, the thing about Freeze, it's not even that good, but it's I feel like it's one of the most annoying cards in the game. Especially paired with the Balloon or the Graveyard. It's not that good, though. Like, I mean, I would I would say it's one of the worst spells, but... It's just... Sometimes it can be pretty annoying. That's probably the best way to put it. Um, and he's got a Zap as well for that Skeleton Army. This is a good guy. has just got a, such a strange deck. Um... I think we're going to be okay, though. Especially now that we're in double, he's not going to get, like, any lucky damage like he did in single elixir. I think we're going to be all right. Nice skeleton army going over there. Skarmy last second on that prince. Perfect timing, because what I wanted was the barometer lock on the giant skeleton, the prince lock on the Skarmy. Um, we're just going to NATO that jazz in the other lane over there. Um, even though it is going to walk back, it was still a good NATO because it had to redirect on top of the Giant Skelly. We're going to Knight to extract that Mega Knight so it doesn't go for the Hog Rider, and that should be GG. At this point, we just need one more Hog hit, or we could just get back to another... We could actually just NATO that... Wizard Splash OP. Yep. I had a feeling that NATO was going to work out there. That was kind of satisfying. That's the reason why NATO is inside of this deck. The combinations you can do with the wizard are just absolutely nasty. Especially when you're against air decks. When you have like a lava loon coming in and then the balloon goes in front of the lava and then it's like out of the splash. You can just NATO them together and then it'll splash both of them again. So it's really nice. Alright, so this guy's not doing anything. I'm just going to chill for a couple seconds and if he still doesn't do anything, I'll just go for a scar me at the bridge. It's fine also to wait until double, but because we're at the very beginning of a grand challenge, I don't really want to, you know, wait around too much just because it gets a little boring. Um, and he does have a healer, so this could be Elixir Golem. If this is Elixir Golem, the wizard is just going to be kind of the MVP in this match. Um, we could probably just... I'm gonna, like, honestly, I'm fine taking some damage, because now he's not really gonna be able to defend with this elixir advantage we're gonna have right now. Um... I just wanna NATO that to the king. There we go. Yeah, we're fine. I know he took a lot of damage. Honestly... The reason I took a lot of damage was because he natoed the wizard in. I didn't think he had a nato, so I didn't plan for that, which was kind of my mistake. I should have assumed he did, but the reason why I didn't think he had a nato was because he has a zap. And zap and nato in the same deck don't really make a lot of sense, especially in Elixir Golem. I feel like that makes the cycle kind of weird, um, but yeah, I wasn't really prepared for that. We're just going to fireball before the healer heals so that E-Drag dies. And just like that, defense way better this time around. He won't even get the tower here, I don't think. And then we're going to get a lot of elixir as well. And now we'll go for the two crown. Definitely going to take the tower here. Nothing he's going to be able to do about that. We're going to go for Giant Skelly here. We're going to get Skarmy going behind. And this might even be tower down on the left. Like, even if he zaps, it's still going to be a lot of damage because of the Giant Skelly. And yeah, we could even try to defend the right lane here. But even if he takes the right, it doesn't really matter that much. Because we're for sure going to take his left tower as well. Um, Giant Skelly Bomb is already going to put it super, super low. Um, we do got to kind of watch out for this over here, though. I don't actually know how we're going to defend this. King Tower being activated is going to be very helpful. Don't get me wrong, but... How the heck? Alright, we're fine. That looks scary, but we're fine. We're fine. We're chilling. Could you imagine if we lost to Elixir Golem? That would have been kind of wild. I mean, it actually wasn't even that close. It was getting kind of close, but at this point, it's not that close. I mean, we almost 3 crowned him. Well, actually, both our towers are really weak. I don't know. 
It was because of the start. The start was what made that, I think, kind of close. Um, it was kind of smooth sailing after the first minute of that game. That's generally how it works, though, against Elixir Golem anyway. Um, it's like once you get your cycle and rotation... Oh, well, Tombstone might cost him unless he's got a NATO. Ooh, really bad Fisherman, because that actually... <laughs> and that actually... Let's just do this, just to see if it's going to, like, make him panic. Um, because, yeah, that's going to be on top of the tower, as you can tell. Um, he might try to get really aggressive now. Um, but because his Fisherman is out of rotation, he won't be able to pull away the Knight. So, he's he's got RG, obviously, because he's got Fisherman Zappies. Um, so we got to watch out, right? RG, we don't have a lot of DPS for. We only really got the Skarmie. Um, which, of course, he's got the Log for. That's why you got to be pretty smart with your, um, with your NATO. Oh, he's got a Bar Barrel. Bar Barrel's a lot worse against the Skarmie, so that's actually a very good thing for us. Um, yeah, we had a very nice start this match. I'm actually gonna go for a Hog here, because the Wizard's still alive. It might just be kind of annoying for him. Let's see what he chooses to do. Uh, well, yep. It looks like we probably won this, just because of the start. The Fisherman was kind of cost him the whole match. Because him misclicking it allowed us to, um, you know, get that giant skelly to the tower. Well, and the hog getting extra damage as well. I'm just going to scar me. His bar barrel's out of hand, so obviously... Wait, what? I'm dumb. Don't listen to me, guys. Is he going to fisherman? Oh, okay. Let me do this then. That was a horrible ability. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think he had his bar barrel in cycle. It was probably... Yeah, why did I think that? What the heck? I actually have no idea why. That was, like, funny, though, how I said that, and then he had it in cycle. Was it because he had a Skelly King down, and it messed up, like, my cycle calculations or something? I don't know. Either way, I should have known. That was just kind of weird. Doesn't matter, though, that much. In hindsight. Um... I just realized, I don't think I used hindsight the right way there. Someone made a comment about that before, how I said it, and it was like the wrong meaning of the word. I think I just did it again. Whatever. This isn't a vocabulary session. <laughs> but yeah. We'll get that right someday. Um, anyway, we're just casually three-crowning this guy here, I guess. Unless he tries to save himself. Ooh, do we get the three crown? This is actually going to be interesting. Do we get the three crown? Yeah, we are going to get it. 100%. 100% three crown. Nice and easy dub over there. Um, RG, like, so, RG isn't easy, but because he had Bar Barrel, that might have not been too, too bad of a matchup. We could probably just go Hog first play. I don't think it's too aggressive. Okay, he's got a drill, so the wizard's really good against the drill, if you guys didn't know. Um... Yeah, it's quite good. It, I would say the wizard is like a top, definitely a top five drill counter. I can't, I don't know if I could say it's top three because I think, well, maybe it is the third best. I don't know because I would say, well, no, it's not because I would say the best three drill counters are. Solid king activation. But anyways, I was going to say the three best drill counters, in my opinion, are Bowler, Dark Prince, and Bomber. So maybe Wizard is the fourth best. Dark Prince and Bowler are amazing because they can't be pushed away. Um, should I have maybe logged there? I don't know. Maybe I should have. I think it's fine, though. I don't think I need to log... Yeah, the Musk... I don't know, that was kind of annoying though, how that musk literally like killed the whole giant skelly. Maybe I should have tried to do my best to prevent that from happening. Um, I went high wizard because obviously he's got a fireball, so. Uh, that was interesting. I'll just go scar me on top of this over here. All right, well that's just gonna get completely countered. So pretty bad wall breakers over there. We're gonna try to go in here. Um, he'll probably go Bomb Tower, 
Yeah, he spent a lot of elixir though, so I'm fine with that. Because he went musk, and bomb tower, goblins. I mean, that was quite a lot. He didn't even need that log. That log was definitely a bit of a overcommitment there, I would say. Curious to see how the rest of this match goes. Because, I mean, he does have the... Like, the Mighty Miner is... Why did he... The Mighty Miner is very good against the... Uh, the Giant Skelly. I think that's the thing I'm most scared of. That Fireball value is amazing. We even get a Hog Connection. Wow. And the Wizard just going ham on the tower. This is looking really solid. I'm gonna go Knight just to make sure those Goblins don't get chip damage. And he actually is gonna go for his Drill um, in the left. Ooh, unfortunately because of the Log, he is gonna push that away, get a little bit of chip damage. Doesn't really matter though. That was honestly quite aggressive. And now we could probably go in... Go for the final push we need. I'm just going to NATO to reset that Mighty Miner. It also pulled the Musk in range of getting splashed by the Wizard momentarily. Um, he's going to go Bomb Tower, so that is going to be defended pretty easily for him over there. Uh, I'm just going to get a Giant Skeleton going in the back. The reason I went Skarmy there was because his Log was out of rotation. Sent that Mighty Miner in the other lane, which is actually perfect, because I obviously have the Giant Skelly coming in on the left, so that actually helps me out. Just go Wizard over here. He's going to go Drill. Um, I'll just go Knight. I probably could have even just ignored that Drill, but it's alright, I guess. I'm just going to Fireball that Musk, because obviously we are hitting the tower as well. Um, we're just going to log this. I'm going to go in here, because this Bomb Tower is expired. Hog Mike. I'm, I'm just going to NATO, just to... Yeah, there we go. Reset that Mighty Binder. That is going to be GG. Not even that close. Um, I don't think that guy played too well. In my opinion, that's a matchup that could go either way. I don't actually think either one of us has a massive advantage. Alright. So in our next one here, this guy actually has the Grand Challenge badge. So that means we're against a pretty decent opponent over here. He does have the Wall Breakers. Alright. So it could be many different variations. Could be like Wall Breakers with... Um, Oh, he's got Princess? Maybe he's running the Rascals variant with Bait. Yeah, it does look like it's that. Um, I oof, I wish I had my NATO in cycle, but yeah, I used it on the Wallbreaker. So unfortunately, we won't be able to get that King Tower activated. Um, so in this type of matchup, we don't want to be too aggressive in single elixir. I actually think this is quite good for us, and I think we'll win as long as I don't take a lot of damage in single. So we definitely want to wait for him to play some cards, just because I don't... I, yeah, like I said, I don't really want to cycle anything. This isn't a match where you want to go for hogs and stuff really aggressively. I don't think he's got a rocket. If he does, then rip. I just gave him a free rocket. But I don't think he does because typically this new variant of log bait, yeah, doesn't have um, rocket in the deck. And sure enough, he doesn't because if he did, he likely would have used it there. I'm like pretty certain about that. We could actually NATO that in, so it splashes and kills the, um, the, uh, yeah, so this is really good. We got a push kind of coming in here with the wizard. Um, that hog was very good, and it wasn't too aggressive because he went for, you know, we had a knight down, taking for, okay, so kind of a bad, um, gum barrel, I would say, because we were able to hit that and the dark goblin, so amazing start for us, and yeah, like I said, I already knew this wasn't going to be a bad matchup. I knew, like, in double and triple, like, it was going to be pretty much guaranteed win. But I knew that, well, if we have this sort of lead in single, then it's, like, 100% over at this point. All we really got to do is just defend and get one more hog hit. I think the fact he doesn't have a prince makes this really easy. He doesn't even have a good response to the hog rider, um, which helps out quite a lot, obviously. I'm going to go for a hog right now just because... Um, you know, why not? And perfect, he just used the log on the hog, so Skarmy just got infinite value right there on defense, and that's gonna be GG. Yeah, log bait's pretty easy. I would say the only log bait deck that, oh my gosh, the wizard splashed those wall breakers last second. Oh my gosh, everything is going wrong for this guy. I mean, not gonna lie, not only do I think I play this pretty well, I think he got a little unlucky with some of the interactions this game. Um... So, you know, I, I will say that, but yeah, it's also a pretty good matchup anyway for um, for, for me. Um, I, what I was going to say is the only log bait deck that might give you a little bit of trouble 
would probably be Logbait Inferno, because the Inferno is very good against the Giant Skeleton, and you don't have Earthquake or a Reset to the Inferno, so you're going to have a really hard time breaking through, but if you're against Logbait Cannon, Logbait Bomb Tower, or that Logbait deck without a building, then it's just going to be a very easy win. Alright, we're halfway through. We got, um, alright, Giant Skelly, Skarmy, Log. If this guy doesn't do anything for the first few seconds, I could cycle Log. He can go Bar Barrel, though. Bar Barrel's not an amazing sign, because it does mean there's a very good chance that he does have the Tornado, so... We'll have to see. He's got Inferno Drag, though, so I'm thinking maybe he's running, um... Ooh, okay. Maybe he's using, like... If, if he has the Inferno Drag, it's making me think it's, like, Lumber Loon or something. So this will be a bit interesting, for sure. Um, I kind of want to... Okay, yeah, we're just going to Giant Skelly, I guess. Well, the good news is we do have NATO. The NATO is, of course, amazing against the, um... That is gonna... Oh, no, it doesn't reach. Cool. We should be able to save the wizard, actually. That freeze was a little bit... And we saved. Nice. That was really good. Okay, yeah, that freeze was kind of bad on his end, I think. I'm gonna go pre-log. I thought he was gonna lumberjack. He just screwed up. What the heck? He, he just lost, I think. What is he doing? Why did he... Why did he NATO and not Lumberjack? I was certain he was going to Lumberjack. Because that NATO... Like, the NATO was just a dumb play. Because even if um, the NATO was enough to deal with the Giant Skelly, I would have gone Hog and punished him. Because then his NATO would have been out of hand. So it was just a dumb decision. I don't understand why he decided to do that. Now all we got to do is defend. So that's... Cool. We pretty much have this wrapped up. I don't know if he gave up. Um, I don't know for sure. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't just go full send for the three crown, assuming he gave up, because, yeah, he's still here. All right, so, I mean, we got to defend for 50 seconds, but for the most part, this is a wrap. Um, unless I completely throw, because we have, of course, you know, the NATO, the fireball. So, as long as the balloon doesn't take our whole power, we're pretty much chilling. Um, we can afford to take some hits, obviously. We just can't lose our whole tower. Um. And... I just potentially threw. I'm stupid. What am I doing? What am I doing, guys? I still think it's a good situation for us. Mostly because we have the damage lead, but I'm an idiot. What am I doing, guys? Like, if, if, if I lose this game, that's, like, honestly a huge L. Um... Luckily, he did just use... Yeah, he couldn't punish. He had to defend. Oh, nice. He had to really overspend there. Okay. Alright. We're, we're looking solid still, but... Oh, my gosh. I'm just... Alright, guys. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna shut up and just focus on this game. Because I don't want to, like... Again, assume I'm gonna win and then throw. Like, literally. This should have already been over. Um... So let's just focus up here. No time for messing around at this point. We gotta go high wizard so he can't freeze the tower and the wizard. That was nicely done over there. We're gonna send in a hog. We're gonna go knight to tank for the arena tower. Um, and the king tower actually. So that hog is getting double tanked and that's gonna be game. Okay. Thank goodness I didn't throw that. I mean, that would have just been embarrassing. Um, Because I was saying multiple times it was over and all I had to do was defend. And I let a whole loon take my tower because I 
overspent on his support cards instead of saving enough for the balloon. And yeah, that was almost a disaster. Um, anyway, we're 7 0, five more to go. All right, so we're in the next one here. We do have Hog in our starting hand. Um, we got a Knight in the log as well. I could go Hog first play. I just want to wait a couple more seconds to see if he wants to do anything. Okay, he is going to go for a Ghost. So I'm actually going to go Hog and then you know, get the King activated. All right, we got to watch out here. This could be a little bit dicey, not going to lie. Let's just get a Skarmie down. Maybe pray he doesn't have a Zap and Cycle. Oh, of course he does. Even though that's going to be, you know, a little bit of damage, it honestly could have been a lot worse. And now at least we have a giant Skelly going in for a counter push. All right, so Pekka Bridge Spam I don't think is that bad. I mean, it's not, like, super easy. We are going to want to log the bandit just to make sure it gets... Ah, you know what? She would have... She's one shot anyway from the tower, but... Well, yeah, just, you know, just in case. Just in case. Can't go wrong, right? With that. Alright, so he does have the magic archer variation and not the minions. Um, I'm going to actually wait to fireball the magic archer just because we were low on elixir. Um, and sure enough, he does give us more value, so I'm kind of glad I waited. Uh, let's just go... <sighs> let's knight, try to play it a little better this time so the king tower hits the... Pekka. Alright, nice. Giant Skelly. I did that just in case, but it's still a good play because he went battle ram. Um... I don't even need a log. Yeah, it's going to get stopped right in its tracks. Um, Alright, we're definitely going to send in a hog here. We're going to fireball this E-Wiz. It's going to be a really nice fireball because um, it's going to allow the hog to get a lot of damage. We're going to actually want to go for a NATO to pull everything into the that. We're going to log because he's probably going to zap. Yeah, I called that. Those barbs actually... Oh, wow. Maybe I should have gone knight. That was a bit of an oopsie on my end there. Not gonna lie. I kind of underestimated those barbs. Not really the end of the world, but yeah, that was not smart on my end. Probably would have gone knight if I were to do things over. We still have the lead, though, so it's not the end of the world, obviously. Um, we do get that knight down to protect for that wizard, which is great, obviously. Uh, we can actually go in for kind of an interesting hog push here. Get a NATO going. Wizard's going to splash. Oh, it unfortunately didn't. Um, we can actually let the... Um... How did it do... I almost threw that. Bro, I almost threw that. <laughs> what the heck? Um, yeah, we won't talk about that match. I didn't, e like, I feel like I didn't even play that too amazingly, but I think we just got some good damage with the Hog. Obviously, Pekka does kind of struggle against Hog because they don't really have any good answer to it besides the Pekka. Um, yeah, I mean, he, yeah, he played all right. I think he could have played a little better at the start. I played good at the start, and then at the end, I was kind of... Kind of, we almost, we almost threw two games in a row. That was, that was a little bit, a little sketchy. Um, we're just gonna hog. He's gotta, oh no, I hope this isn't, oh. If this is E-Giant, this is like, probably gonna be a loss. E-Giant is, <sighs> it's not like impossible, but it's probably the hardest matchup you're gonna get. So, I'll do my best, but like, look guys, E-Giant is like, probably the hardest matchup so ah we, we might get our first loss here i will do my very best we had a nice start which is great um i do really like the start that we had um and the wizard is gonna stay alive there which is also really nice uh we're gonna actually nato this backwards um defense was solid over there it's gonna be really hard to defend though in 
double and triple, I feel like. Um, but we'll see what we can do, I guess. Um, probably just get a log going on top of this bomber. Okay, he's going to go Golden Knight. I'm a little scared he's going to get back to another E-Giant. And we're not going to be ready to defend it. Alright, let's get a Knight down. And that is exactly what happened, sadly. Maybe Wizard behind the tower so he can't NATO it inside of the E-Giant circle. And then I'm just going to Giant Skelly like this. Ooh, he actually lightninged. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, guys. This is a little bit... We probably are going to lose, unless he messes up his defense or something. But I'll do my best. We'll see. Sometimes a miracle can happen, right? I feel like that was kind of a bad E-Giant push by him. I don't know if it's really going to matter that much, though. Because I don't know how we're going to break through the, um, the cannon. Big yikes. We'll get a giant skelly going, I think, on defense. I'm going to avoid giving him lightning value at all costs. I think that's the only way we're going to be able to come back. I can't allow him the lightning, my wizard, and the tower at the same time. Because if that happens, then... I feel like it's just a little bit... We're just, like, giving him damage, you know? We, we can't. We can't have that. I don't... Like, this matchup just is so bad. I don't know what we're going to be able to do. See, the defense isn't even extremely tricky it's mostly just the offense i don't know like how the heck we're gonna be able to um yeah it's just almost impossible it's a big yikes Yeah, that is, well, gonna be our first loss. I guess not that surprising. I kind of called it at the start um, that we likely were going to lose that. I mean, like, E-Giant is just... They have to play pretty bad to lose that matchup. Let's just put it that way. Because you, you have to break through a cannon and a tornado, and then defending is not easy either. I feel like the only way you can win that is if you have perfect defense. Um, but even then, you still could lose um like even if i defended that better i still might have lost i don't know it's it's probably it's close to being an impossible matchup so hopefully we don't get e giant again that would kind of suck if we do because i feel like if we get e giant it's probably like an 80 percent chance i'm gonna lose even if i'm better than the other person by a decent amount doesn't really matter too, too much. Let's just get a giant skelly down. I don't know what the heck this guy's using. I'm very confused. I, I have, like, no clue. He has, like, minions, goblin gang, bandit. Knight? I don't know what this is. Like, actually, I, I have no idea. I'm gonna hog rider because even though it's, a, it's, like, a bit aggressive, I think it's not too risky. It's gonna kind of get blocked, which sucks, but is what it is i guess we could probably just go for a wizard here and then let's get a knight going hopefully the wizard is able to uh all right yeah nice it is able to clean everything up um maybe this guy's got a hog i don't really know it's a strange deck for sure not really sure what it is Um, yeah, I just have no idea. My gosh, those minions are going to be such a nuisance. Um, I can't NATO because the giant skelly would be in the way. Hopefully that doesn't get a shot. Yeah, king activation, OP. Coming in clutch there. 
Alright, so if he doesn't... We could probably stack wizards and stuff if he doesn't have a, um... A big spell, obviously, so we'll see kind of like what he's got in terms of spells. Um, does have an Xy though. This is so weird. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm gonna go hog in the opposite lane. This is a bit weird. I'm gonna soon probably just go for a uh, pre-log on the Goblin Gang. We could get ourselves a lot of hog hits if we do that. Probably do that next time. We are coming back though. I think us having NATO for the hog is just so clutch. I'm gonna fireball that. I might as well... Um, let's get a hog going here. I was gonna pre-log, but I have a feeling that... What? He didn't... I thought he wasn't gonna drop it. He played it late. That caught me off guard. I don't need to NATO, because the wizard dealt enough damage. Yeah, that was clutch. Called it. Called it! Decided to go, okay. Got a lot of damage. See if he decides to switch up and go in the right lane. Maybe he will. I don't know. Yeah, he does. That was getting a little scary. We're okay. That looks scary, but we're fine. My gosh, man. That was kind of wild. Let's just get a giant skelly down to block everything in the left, and I think we're chilling here. Yeah, we're fine. That was a weird game. His deck is probably more off meta than mine. It, like, he's got a more off meta hog deck than me. Didn't think I was going to say that this video. Um, but that, I mean, that seems to be the case. Because, like, the the fact he had, I don't know, like, it was, it was a weird combination. But hog Mega Knight, I mean, I guess isn't super rare. But some of the other cards, I don't know. Three more to go. We're in Teddy. Alright, so we got Knight, Wizard, Log, Fireball. He's got Skellies. Um, I'll just cycle Log. Uh, and he's gonna have a Musk. Okay, so... Musk and Skeletons. I mean, it could be a Hog deck, because... I don't know, Musk is commonly in Hog. We see the Mighty Miner. It could be, yeah, Hog EQ. Could also be Drill, I don't know. It's really hard to say, I guess. Um, I'm just going to send in a hog to see what building he has. Barbarians. Wow. Can't say I was expecting that. Maybe I'll scar me here? I don't know. I don't know what this is. Not going to lie. I have no clue what deck this is. It could be... Um, it could be Expo, actually. Okay, yeah, we get that on the Expo. Perfect. I was a little worried there, but that NATO came in clutch. We're fine. We are chilling. Okay. So it is Expo. I kind of expected it to be once I saw that, um, Elixir Collector. Uh, 
I'm just gonna wizard this, I think. And then if he pumps up, I'm gonna go Night Hog. Wow, I don't know how I feel about that um that collector. I feel like that's a little risky. He's probably gonna have to barbs late. Oh wow, yeah, I was gonna say he can't barbs early because of the wizard. Yeah, that definitely some solid damage on his tower over there. Um maybe I'll I'll fireball this. It's kinda late, but I don't know. We do get the giant skelly on his expo. Probably didn't need that wizard. It's alright though, because... It actually, that musk was kind of bad, so it ended up being okay. Do I just keep fireballing the um, elixir collector? I mean, I might as well, because... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knight here. And then get a giant skelly down. Wizard here, maybe? I'm a little nervous now. I think we might be okay, though, because he doesn't have a, um... We might be able to just spell him out at the end. Ooh, that's a nice NATO. Because we're hitting the minions, the pump, and the tower. Really nice NATO. I think we got it, yeah, because he doesn't have a big spell. We should be chilling. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Praying he doesn't have, like, a rocket or something. In case he does, I'm going to pressure here to make sure that um, he's not going to be able to rocket and get away with it. All right, nice. Yeah, we're fine. Nice win over there. Wizard Loki kind of carrying that match. So good against the minions, the barbarians. Um, Mighty Miner got him a lot of value. I feel like that's the main reason why it was close. Because a typical Expo deck, like just 3.0, should be probably pretty easy for this deck. Because they're just not going to be able to break through. But the Mighty Miner just shreds through the night. Giant Skelly. So it got a little close. But we got it. Alright, two more to go. Okay, what the heck we're against Betfis? How, like, we're matching Betfis? You kidding me? Got the king activated, but wow, we just spent a lot of elixir. Alright, so, yeah, Betfist does have a number one finish. Good player. See what he's running. Um, I have, like, no clue what this is, to be honest. It could be, like, Mortar or, like, some sort of minor cycle deck. I mean, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, Alright, we do catch the Miner. Curious what building he has. I mean, that's going to determine, I think, how hard this matchup is. If he has, like, uh, a cannon, I could probably get around it. Ooh, Bomb Tower, that's going to be a little harder. I mean, the Bomb Tower is pretty good against the, um, you know, against the Hog. 
because the fireball isn't going to take it out uh, like right away. So we'll see how this goes. I have a feeling this is going to be kind of a tough one, especially because it's pretty good, but we'll see. Hey, we got a wizard connection. Let's go. W. We might need to try to get some good wizards going in this matchup. Like, probably, um, if we can, like, I don't know, wizards to, like, NATO the queen next to the tower, maybe, or, like, maybe some NATOs to pull the queen away, stuff like that. We gotta try to get a little creative. Giant Skeleton's pretty good against the Archer Queen. We do have that going for us, which is solid. Um, I'm gonna scar me like this. Ah, uh, dang, that was close for the hog getting a hit. No, I needed that hog hit. Oh. If I caught the miner, I don't know if I would have won or not. It's kind of hard to say. <sighs> it was close. All right, we're against this Japanese player here. We got only one life. Um, we'll uh, try my best to close it out. See what happens. I'm going to wait for this guy to make the first play, I think. I mean, considering Betfist is pretty good and this is like a pretty off meta deck that I don't really play at all, I'm pretty happy overall with how that game went. I mean, it was really close. I have no clue what matchup, but it was hard to break through the bomb tower. Like, I mean, I didn't get a single hog hit all the game, so that was kind of rough. Um... Oh, wow, he just missed the NATO. Okay, so very good start. NATO's usually not a good sign, so the fact that we got this start's very nice. Um, maybe this guy's running Balloon. This, like, Pekka Balloon deck that I've seen a few times. That's what I would guess this is, because otherwise I have no clue. Actually, it might be Graveyard. Yeah, he's got the poison, so... 
I would actually guess that this is Graveyard. So our NATO might not do very much, unfortunately. We will see, though. We will see. Um, I'm, a, I'm actually going to go in here because his... He's not... He, he got back to the NATO, but... Um, the night tanking. Ah. I mean, I don't know. That hog push might have not been that good. It's all right, though. I mean, we are winning, so we'll see kind of how this goes, I guess. We'll just cycle a log. He's got a... What? He has minor? I'm so confused. Now I'm actually thinking he might actually have a balloon. May or it might just be minor poison, like Betfus was using. Okay, that was a really bad executioner. So I had to do that just for tower chip, and it's going to force a response out of him. That wizard. Alright, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I have no clue if this guy, like, honestly, man. Played it late. Played it late. Let's go. All right, we got to go pre-log here. He's going to go goblins, 100%. Boom! We didn't go goblins? I mean, that means we get a shot, so I ain't complaining. I was, like, certain, though, that he was... Wait, watch this. Couldn't we... Oh, no. Did I mess it up? Oh, well, I mean, he natoed it back. Uh, yeah, we're fine. I thought I was trying to do that trick where we get the... Um... the bomb the like that's gonna get a shot i believe yep cool all right cool gotta watch out boom I think we, we got it. I think, I think we got it. We just got to keep up the pressure. No low wizards. We can't give him poison value. That would be horrendous. Come on, Ken. We get a hog to the tower. Wizard. Ah! Giant Skelly. Okay, there we go. We got it. That's GG. Even if he NATOs it back, it would be too late. We got it. 11 and 2. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bro, come on, can we get it? Can we get the 12 with Wizard? All right, this is it. Santiago, let's see. Please don't have E-Giant. Please do not have E-Giant. And he doesn't because he's got goblins. Already a good sign. I'm liking this. No E-Giant, <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know what he's using, though. Queen, goblins, could be mortar, could be hog. Either of those, I guess, would be okay. Ooh, it's actually gonna be... Okay. Wizard log gonna be just incredible against those pigs. Wizard is great against the pigs. I think this matchup is pretty decent. I mean, the wizard and the fireball are gonna get me so much value. Um, also, the giant skeleton, too, is quite solid against... Um, the uh the archer queen you saw that in the betfist match i mean the queen wasn't at all the problem it was mostly the um the minor chip and the bomb tower i couldn't break through but unlike the bomb tower um 
the cannon is easy to break through with the hog because the fireball pretty much takes it out um, almost instantly, which is really clutch. So I'm just going to go for that there. Let's see what he wants to do. I'm going to fireball this. Uh, we might want to, like, NATO the... Yeah, I think that was a good NATO, because otherwise I would have had to deal with the Queen without my giant Skellion cycle, which wouldn't have been ideal. We can take that. It's going to be one shot. That's not that big of a deal, especially because he just logged the opposite lane, like, literally about even now, so that works out perfectly. Obviously, you know, we didn't deal much damage, but that's perfectly fine. I feel like this matchup is actually better as it progresses because, like, there's, you know. I feel like we want to get that king activated, though, sooner or later. I want to NATO that in. hits the fire spirit as well do we get that hog to the yes we do see there we go that is big time damage right there that is what i was talking about guys um in double that's all we needed like single it's hard to get a push going obviously because um like the you know the deck is a bit more expensive than his you know what maybe we don't need to get the king activated because as like i think it's just better to take it out with the wizard when i can because it gives us counter push Boom! Fireball hitting the queen as well as the cannon. Big time value over there. Oh, the hog is at 1 HP! Yo! And he didn't notice. Let's go. Bro, we're going ham right now. We gotta unmute the emotes. Alright, we gotta watch out. We did just go giant skelly in the, um... He's probably gonna go pigs. Yeah, I called it. We're fine. We're fine. Like, bro, wizard just... Like, this is one of these matches where it's like the wizard is actually, like, getting infinite value. Um, Like, the wizard is literally carrying us here. Bro, what the heck happened over there? Bro. Like, this is not even close for the for the 12 win here. We, we got it. We're good. We're, we're like, we're, we're cruising, bro. We're cruising. And, the, and I was worried. Like, come on, bro. Shouldn't have been worried for one second. Got three people watching. Just your typical 12 win with your mid-ladder wizard deck. Boop. Bro, this guy is desperate. He just played that right into the giant skelly bomb. He called it. Good game. He knows his fate sealed. Hey, I respect the good game, considering, like, this is a pretty solid matchup for me. It's good sportsmanship by him. Um, do get the fireball over here. Nato take out that queen. And that is gonna do it. That is gonna do it. Got a little closer at the end with the pigs, but we got it. That's going to be GG. Nice 12 win with the best wizard deck in the game. If you're a mid-ladder player to, and you use wizard, but it's not in this deck, then what are you doing? What are you doing? No champions in this deck either, by the way. So I guess it's pretty free-to-play friendly. And that's going to be it. Like, subscribe. Thanks again. Until next time, guys.